Now to that bizarre story out of North Houston where a man was shot and killed after allegedly setting a fire to a home and then stabbing a woman when she tried to run to safety. Police say it all stemmed from a dispute. Our Roseanne Aragon has been speaking with the family who lived in the home. She joins us live where this all unfolded a home off East 35th Street near Arlington. Roseanne. That's right, this was a fire, a shooting, and a stabbing all happening at this home behind me. You can see family members who lived at the home dealing with the aftermath. They tell me they are heartbroken to see their home up in flames. Today, they know someone they know is fighting for their life at the hospital. The suspect is dead. A fire devastating this house on East 35th Street near Arlington. For neighbors, this was a house on fire. For others like Darian West, it was his lifelong home destroyed. A lot of memories, a lot of dreams, a lot of... <laughs> Houston police say they responded to this home earlier this morning for a disturbance, but found nothing. Hours later, they got the call of a fire. Kelvin Pope lives here with his uncle, who owns the property. Pope told us his girlfriend called him this morning in distress. The lady that I had in the house staying with me called me at 8 o'clock this morning and told me some man was trying to break into the house. Police said they believed the suspect was the woman's ex-boyfriend who caused the disturbance and then came back hours later to light the house on fire. Like a bottle of gasoline inside the uh, house through the window. That's when he chased the female down with the car, backed out, chased her through the house. Um, and he was trying to stab her, had her pinned down the ground, trying to stab her with a, I guess right now we believe it's a piece of glass. And that's when a neighbor came to a rescue. Investigators said after the suspect refused to stop, the neighbor shot the suspect, killing him. The woman was rushed to the hospital. Family of the homeowner are now praying. Hope everything come out right. As for their beloved home. It's time we just come together and try to keep strong. Now, we are told that woman is in critical condition at Bentob. She had surgery early this morning. Reporting live from Independence Heights, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Roseanne, thank you.